Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today we're going to take a look at Microsoft Teams and the document library. Um, this is actually a really useful topic, so uh, well worth sticking around to the end of the video as we learn all about um, how Microsoft Teams ties into the SharePoint document library and how everything pivots from SharePoint ultimately. If you find this video useful, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just inside Microsoft Teams. And, and basically this is my uh, Office Guy uh, Telnet. And I have two teams in here. We've got that Office Guy and Crypto for News, which are the two YouTube channels that we have. Um, and ultimately I'm just going to show you how to, um, first of all, access uh, your document library, and then how to also um, use OneDrive to synchronize your um, files directly to your computer, uh, which is the most effective way and efficient way of actually handling files inside Microsoft Teams. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually just within any of your channels, it doesn't matter which, um, click on the Files uh, tab just here. Okay, this will then load up all of the files that you have in that particular channel, okay? Um, now, at the top, you will have things like new, upload, sync, um, copy link, download, add a cloud storage, or um, open in SharePoint. And it's the open in SharePoint that I want to kind of discuss today. So what I'm going to do is click uh, open in SharePoint. This will then open up a web browser and take us directly to um, the team, the documents, and then the channel that you are in. Okay, so if I actually go back to the root directory uh, of documents, we'll see that I have a general channel and a test channel one, okay? Now, if I just hop back to Microsoft Teams, you can see here that I actually have another channel. This is called test channel two, but test channel two is not appearing in our document library. So what we have to do here is actually head over to this channel and click on the files uh, tab at the top. What happens is now that folder is being created in SharePoint for you. It's not automatically created on the, the creation of a um, channel, but when someone clicks on the file tab within that channel, it will create the folder. Okay, so if I just minimize this, and what we can do is actually just hop back, um, let's just say to the home tab, and then back into documents. We now see that we have general, channel one and channel two, okay? And this is the root directory of the entire team. Now I can click inside general, okay? And I could add folders and files here. I could come back to the root directory and I could do the same thing for channel one and for channel two, okay? But this is not exactly the easiest way of using um, Microsoft Teams in terms of filing, okay? And files and adding files and folders to your structure. Now, you might be tempted to use um, the files tab within Microsoft Teams, and that is fine if you, that's what you want to do. Um, but for a lot of people, they find that actually quite difficult to use. Instead, the way that I prefer to do this is to actually um, synchronize all of your SharePoint files. So if I just minimize this again, all of these files here and these folders um, within this document library and synchronize that to your computer, okay? And in doing that, what you're then doing is basically using your file explorer to basically enable you to search for everything uh, that's in Microsoft Teams, okay? For the teams that you are synchronizing, that is, okay? So if I click this sync button just here, it then uh, wants to basically request access to the OneDrive app that you have to have installed. So I'm just gonna click um, open the OneDrive app now it's going to get ready to synchronize all of the files into my um, computer here. So I've got this pop-up dialog box just here where it wants me to sign in. So I'm just going to sign in and give it a moment as it thinks about it. And then it's going to go through, okay, where would you like things to be saved? Let me just go through the motions on this dialog box. It can take a couple of minutes depending on how fast your internet connection is, how fast your PC is, etc., uh, and anything else that you've got going on process-wise in the background. Um, it should only take a couple of moments though, and then we should be good to go. So I'm gonna click next here, click next again, 
what do you want everything that was available um, and again you, you can select different options uh, along this and it says it talks about the mobile app as well and um, we're just going to do that later and then we're good to go so now I can open up my folder and now I have access to right so this is what we're then presented with so within our um, file explorer here we have this little icon here that represents an organization okay and it's that office guy inside there we have that office guide documents and then we have the three different channels that we have inside our team okay um, and then inside each of these you can have uh, multiple files folders etc as needed um, okay but that's just one team now if we do the same thing again if i come back to microsoft teams and head over to this crypto for news team okay click on files here uh, let's try this channel files it will then create the folder in sharepoint so what i need to do is actually open it up in sharepoint another tab will open this time i'm in the crypto for news section um, and then from here i want to make sure that i'm in the root directory Okay, so I can see the channels that are currently there. And again, we are missing our Stellar Lumen channel. So I'm just going to click Files here, and then that will create the folder. And I'm going to click VChain, and I'm going to click Files here, and that's going to create that folder. And then I'm going to minimize this, um, and then we can see that those folders have been created. And now I'm going to click this Sync button, um, and I'm going to synchronize. Um, I'm going to say Always Allow This uh, Open here and now because i've already gone through the motions of um, synchronizing one team um, this is automatically now synchronized um, the second team for me i don't have to go through the same steps i did before i can just close that box um, and what i can do is pull up that office guy here um, and now we can see i have two teams okay um, and if i open up um, this one here this crypto for news team i have all of those folders um, likewise, if I open up my office guy, I also have these folders here. So that's how I prefer to use um, Microsoft Teams um, and understanding what's actually happening when you store files in the document library of Microsoft Teams. Um, basically, Microsoft Teams utilizes SharePoint for almost all your, its files um, and communications. Everything, um, every team you create, it creates a team site in SharePoint and then uses the structure of SharePoint to create the Microsoft Teams experience, okay? So quite an important thing to just understand that, um, you know, where everything is being stored and how it's all working because then you can utilize the different applications to your advantage. So personally for me, I like to make sure that I'm using um, my file explorer um, as my option to navigate the files and folders inside Teams and not, uh, I, I personally don't use the files here um, because I find that it's a bit more difficult to use. It's great if you just want to find something or reference something um, or share a document, it might be slightly easier that way. Um, but a lot of people are actually more used to working with the file explorer. Um, so, you know, this way you don't actually have to change uh, people's way of working. Um, you know, if you've been used to using file explorer for, you know, 10, 20 years, um, moving on to Microsoft Teams is a little bit more difficult, uh, you're kind of stuck in your ways a little bit. So personally, I prefer to make sure that I have everything synced to my computer and it works in exactly the same way as any other file that you would store in Microsoft Teams or on SharePoint, they're live documents, just like OneDrive. Uh, multiple people can use them at the same time. It just makes it a little bit easier um, for me anyway to access them from uh, File Explorer. So that's uh, the all I really have to say really, I guess, about um, the document library in Microsoft Teams, how it all works with SharePoint, and how I would recommend people start synchronizing the SharePoint um, root directories to your computer as for ease of access. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you if you found it did, if you found it did, um, then um, do hit the like button um, and consider subscribing. It means a lot to the channel. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next video.